Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. As we settle in on our Friday's E, we take a look at your RV World Yuma Sky, Kim. And of course, we got the Yuma Water Tower in Christmas tree form. All right, beyond this, well, as far as what we're seeing in the West with your satellite radar perspective, we certainly have had a pretty dominant day in regards to the cloud coverage. You can see it's pretty much shifted to the east, so we pretty much got a clearing going on. So to answer the question we had earlier in the broadcast, no, no rain, at least not anytime soon. All right, temperatures as they stand, we're talking about uh, pretty much the range of the 40s. We're talking low end to high end 40s, some cases even some 50s on the board in regards to our current conditions in the Imperial Valley. Over to the east, well, we're looking at uh, pretty similar conditions unfolding where you have uh, mid to high end 40s to the east and uh, closer to the Colorado River corridor. We have similar conditions applying as well with the exception of the foothills. Now, as far as the northeast is concerned, uh, the lingering effects of snow, there's hardly anything going on at this particular point, but they certainly have had it pretty heavy over in Massachusetts, the Boston area getting hit pretty hard and uh, power outages continue over in that part of the country. So we're certainly counting our blessings here in the desert southwest. You see this trough continuing to kind of dig in and that's going to allow us to stay cool over the course of the next couple of days and uh, maybe some intermittent breezes to go along with it as well. High pressure should be building from the west, but it is going to be weak, not very strong at all. So it's not like we're going to be surging in the heat realm anytime soon. Your Metrocast 53 degrees by 8 a.m. We should check in in and around the 69 degree mark as we get on into the mid afternoon. Of course, we'll settle those temperatures back down as we get on into the evening time as well. Now, as far as tonight's merry and bright picture, we got the Palanis family representing in the foothills and boy, are they representing well. You got a pair of Christmas trees there. You got the house all decked out. So thank you very much for sending that our way. And if you'd like to send yours, just go to our website and we'll get it on there as soon as possible. Now, as far as what we're looking at with your Yuma International Airport extended forecast, we got a couple of high end 60 days coming our way and then we really start to raise the temperature bar at least to some degree. We're talking up to the mid 70s. That's as high as we're going. And then we start to sink back down as we get closer to the Christmas holiday. And by Christmas itself, we should be a little bit above average. So all in all, this is a pretty sharp forecast, especially if you're liking it just a little bit cool as we get closer to Christmas time.